Well, hello again. Now, as you've seen from the previous videos, we've been checking out these, uh, well, the four uh, Beyond Meat products. This one isn't actually Beyond Meat, but today we're going to be taking a look at Beefless Sliders. The ultimate Beefless Sliders. So what do you think? Do you think these are going to be any good? I don't know. I'm seeing a lot more of gar Gardein if that's how you pronounce it garden grown protein guardian products on yeah. the shelf and i didn't see any of our normal um stuff at winco but i did see plenty of this yeah well we'll have to give them a go and i hope well they look good but you know the pictures always look good So this is definitely going to be interesting. These products are really, really interesting. I did like the Beyond Meat, but I prefer the chicken to the beef. Um, well, the, the I don't the know. Burgers. That beef is pretty. It's not bad, yeah. Beef is really hard, though. Really, mm -hmm. really hard. Now this comes with buns. Yeah. So you get. You get everything you, get the, you need. Everything, you know. Yeah, everything is. Hmm. Now they are touting this as a snack, not a meal, but. Yeah, well, they're know. just sliders. But, um, for us, I mean, two each is fine. Yeah. I'm going to separate these. I'm going to do the meat in the pan, and I'm going to do the, the buns. In the toaster oven? Oh, in, in... On here. Ah, good idea. It says ready in two minutes. But I... One to one and a half minutes on each side. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That's, we'll see. We'll see. That we'll seems see. a bit short. In, but is That's, that from frozen or is it from... It says just remove sliders from wrapper. It does not say thaw. Okay. So here we go. Let's look at the sliders. I mean, they, they do look like... Yeah, I mean, that, that looks like a little mini burger, you know? Yeah. Okay. And of course, for high temperature frying, I'm using Crisco instead of olive oil because I don't want it to burn. Yeah. products that aren't meat, you know. I don't mind. As long as they taste like meat. Yeah. It and they have the texture. As long as, they, as long as it tastes like meat and it has, um, you know, a, a similar amount of protein. And has the texture and, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be fantastic for the environment because, you know, I don't, I don't think it's realistic to think that you can... Continue, continue the amount of, of cattle that we've been using. Well, yeah, but it's also not realistic to, to think that you can convert the whole of humanity over to being vegans. It's just not going to happen. But these products will definitely do a lot of good and help. I, humans are humans are definitely omnivores. Oh yeah. Uh, some of us have chosen by choice to be vegetarian for one reason or another. But I'm definitely a carnivore. I, I like meat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just prefer not to torture animals to get it. Mm-hmm. Oh. A 
अब ऐड करना है इसके साथ That seems to be very short, but we'll see. Are you going to add anything to yours? Uh, I think I'll have one plain, and then the next one I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go whole hog on and put cheese and ketchup and lettuce and. Okay. It's a good idea, actually. Well, they do stick, like vegetables do. Which is probably the reason they try to get you to use a non-stick pan. But of course, I don't use non-stick pans because they're really bad for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be interested now to see how these compare to Beyond Meat because I was very impressed with Beyond Meat. Ooh, hot. Oh, hot. Yeah, hot. Careful. Mm -hmm. um, the chicken we had in, in the last one, the last video we made, was just amazing. I mean, it had the texture of meat, it had the mm. taste of like chicken. This, oh. this has the look that Beyond Beef didn't quite have. It was good, yeah, but not, not this dark. Wow, I mean, they really do look like, uh, you know, little beef burgers. They really have the look down. They do? Really, really. They really stick, though. Mm. Maybe they don't have uh, the oil set. Beyond meat type. Mm. Not the um the saltiness isn't there either. No? Mm -mm. They look good though. Uh, if you didn't know that there was that they weren't real beef burgers, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference by walking in. Would you? Um, maybe the smell. This doesn't have quite... It has a nice smell to it, but it's yeah. not a beefy smell. It is. It's a meaty smell. It's a meaty smell, but yeah. not a beefy smell. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll, we'll have the first one without anything on it. And then we'll do it all. Yeah, I mean, they really look like beef. They do. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they've got, they've got the look down. Really? Thick though, really thick. Oh wow, look at that one. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way I would be able to, just on, on the look and sound of them cooking, I would not be able to tell if I didn't know. So well done in appearance. Okay, shall we try one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Seems like 
they're ready. Yeah, I mean, that, wow, that is incredible. So, I'll get you to have a taste first. See, I'm gonna have just a nibble off the. Yeah. Mm. All honesty, it tastes a, a little fake. My vote is a little too chemically. Too chemically? It, it tastes, you know, like those really fake McRib sandwiches? Mm hmm. It kind of tastes like that. Wow. Well, maybe that's why they're up in, you know, where we got them. I mean, they're in the co op too. Okay. But the Beyond Meat seemed much better. Much better. Okay. Are you trying? Yeah. They definitely have the appearance, but maybe to get that appearance, they have to add a lot. What do you think? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, they have the texture of a burger. But there is, there's, uh, I don't, like you said, there's a kind of an almost chemical taste of it. Not. It's not bad. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, it's I can't. Not. I can't honestly say that I hate McDonald's McRib sandwiches either. Yeah. But you know, yeah. in the whole scheme of things, it tastes fake. Um, it doesn't taste vegetably. No. It's got a very meaty texture. And I would say, to me, even a meaty taste, but there's some kind of aftertaste to it that I just can't put my finger on. Yeah. I would definitely take... I wouldn't mind if somebody gave me one of these, but I would prefer to be on meat so far. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, I, I think with the condiments on it may taste... A little more acceptable. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're eating them plain, and you're not really supposed to eat a burger like that. It's supposed to have the works, you know, ketchup or whatever yeah. sauce, mayonnaise, lettuce, and cheese, and all that. So, yeah. We'll Let's try take it, it with everything on it. Yeah, and take a couple of photos. Yeah, and we'll. Uh, Thanks for joining us. One last look. Not bad, but uh, I'd yeah, prefer Beyond Meat. Yeah, so would I. Not bad, though. They're definitely getting there. They're a whole lot better than they used to be.